Hello everybody and welcome to a quick magic finding guide on a budget. So what would be the overall best magic finding items that you should aim for right now? That is what this video is going to cover. It will just be a quick little overview of the items that I do suggest. However, I also want to mention that you should probably always just go for kill speed over magic find. So normal items that does increase your kill speed might be more important than getting, you know, a lot of magic find. You kind of have to be aware that if you are struggling on killing easy areas, maybe you shouldn't have magic finding gear on. Also just want to quickly note my magic finding route right now, at least on a sorceress. I like to do mausoleum runs in cold plains. Uh, yeah, it's a very easy place. And then I like to do Endarials just because it's a very easy boss. Even on a, yeah, a sorcerer that has to kite a little bit around. In Act 2 I just like to go to Arcan Sanctuary for a key chance killing the summoner. He is rather easy to kill. And then also I want to do mention that Ancient Tunnel is probably one of the easiest places to magic find in. Ancient Tunnel is such a great place. By Act 3 you cannot really do Tarantical at least at my gear level. But it is a very good place to do. On top of that, Mephisto is also very easy to do, at least for a sorceress. And I don't think I would ever suggest magic binding in uh, Act 4, unless you were doing Chaos runs, but yeah, it's not really that fun. And then in Act 5, I don't really like to do anything but Pindle skin runs. That is, however, very easy. But that's pretty much the wrap of, of the all the areas that I would go to right now in my current gear. Well, let's take a quick look at the gear that I do suggest to use then. Gloves like these ones are just great. I was very lucky to find this one. I actually think they dropped on normal mode, so it was a bit of a fun uh, drop for me. But yeah, if you can get gloves with resistance on them and magic find, it's just really great. Right now, Chan skirts, gloves or Chan's as they're just called, are also really uh, great if you can get them like 30 to 40% magic find, but they are rather... Um, still a bit expensive to either buy or it can, it can be a bit of a hard drop. So I do suggest trying to get gloves with magic find on them and resistance. Chan skirts gloves also don't you know really roll with any useful stats for the most part. So gloves like these ones can be a really great find if you're lucky to get this. Then for rings I suggest a nagel ring. They are just really overall really great and they're not too expensive. Um, you can also go with rings that has stats on them. You can even get lucky finding one with magic find and resistance on it like I did here. Didn't really roll that well, but you can get ones that are really good. Um, so do try to either get some rare rings with maybe even faster cast rate on them or stuff like that. For my second ring, I haven't really found a rare ring with faster cast rate on it right now, since I need the 10% to reach the ne next breakpoint. So yeah, I really do suggest that you try to get a rare ring with faster cast rate on it and magic find. That can be really good on a sorceress or any builds that might want a little bit of a breakpoint reach or anything like that. But it's quite hard to find, a, you know, these rings are pretty easy to find, but a rare ring with magic find on them can be a bit harder. And then for the build is the good old gold wrap. Now, you can upgrade gold wrap pretty easily. I believe it was um, a perfect diamond, a shale rune and a tail rune. So those three things in the cube together with gold wrap will upgrade it. Uh, do however note that it also makes the yeah the strength requirement a bit higher. You see the 88 to uh, equip uh, gold wrap when it's upgraded, but still it's very worth it to just quickly upgrade it for very, very little cost really to get more uh, mana rows. So keep that in mind. But yeah, gold wrap is such a great build just because it always rolls 30% uh, magic find, and yeah. It's, it's just go for it. It's really not that uh, important to have like a, a decent build or whatever. Um, so gold wrap is definitely one of the most highest suggested items that you can aim to get for some easy magic find. And then boots. I haven't really found anything better, but these can be shoved rather easily. You can even get them with 30, 40 magic find and resistance on them. Um, so I think actually they can roll up to like 40% fire resistance, cold resist or something. With 30, 40 magic find, it would be hard to shop. But you can try maybe run around in Act 2 or some area where you can quickly shop and look at vendors. Uh, shopping is, uh, I can just quite uh, quickly deal with that. If you don't know, 
because we will also talk about shopping on another item just in a little bit. You can see like this wand up here, free to poison a bone, one to bone prison. So if I go out to a new area, all the items on the vendor is now going to reset. And that is basically how we do shopping. And it's quite important for some builds, um, but can even be good for you no know, finding magic fine items. And you can see the wand up in the upper corner here changed. So that's pretty much how we do, yeah, shopping. And let's also talk about weapons. So I use dual spirit for the overall great, uh, what can you say, clear speeds and whatnot when you have these two items. It really is just great having these two items together to make your clearing much faster. But on switch, blade of Alabama and then rhyme. These two items are really, really great. The only real issue is that uh, the blade of Alibaba can still be a little bit expensive to get. It's not the easiest item to get, um, but still you should really, really try to get this one because it's the best magic find switch that you can get until you can get uh, a six socketed east uh, face blade, crystal sword, whatever. Blade of Alibaba is such a great switch. Um, the only thing I do have want to note, um, you see this item down here. You should try to either get East Wounds in them later on if you can afford it, or you should try to get uh, Magic Finding Duels here. They are not easy to get. Another thing also worth mentioning on this duel is that it has minus 15 requirements, which could be pretty good to socket into an Alibaba, because it requires 42 Dexterity to, to equip, which is a bit annoying having to put points into Dexterity on, say, a Sorceress to equip it. But yeah, uh, that's a, a really great duel that I found here. I just haven't used it yet on my Alibaba because I respec it and whatnot a little too fast before I got this one. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, duel options are really great for Alibaba, at least until you can afford uh, doing you know two East wounds in it. But that is very expensive right now. And then Rhyme Shield, you can just make this in any shield really. It doesn't really matter uh, whatever base you're gonna make it in. 25% um, magic find is really nice, it cannot be frozen and whatnot, it's a really great early on shield, but we mostly just use this for switch. So that's pretty much how I would do magic finding switch, and I can also just show you quickly just how much magic find I'm on right now. 280%, that is so much, and then also 177 uh, without the switch. So when you're about to kill a champion pack, or Mephisto, or Endarials, whatever, just switch this on the last second before they die. This is such a huge boost to your overall magic find. And so let's talk a little about the armor and resistance. So since we are in magic finding gear, we have really low gear overall. I really do recommend making a smoke. You can also go with Viper magic, but smoke is really nice for the resistance. You can see right now my resistance is actually pretty good together with a lot of small charms in my inventory. Just quickly show some of them. I have gotten a bit lucky on some of the small charms that I found. They are pretty helpful. Oh, I actually had, an in un un <laughs> had one there, but okay. So smoke is actually very good for the resistance. You really do need it once you get to hell. So I recommend you make a smoke and actually magic fine with this if you don't already have a viper magic or maybe even something better. And then for the amulet, I haven't found a magic finding amulet yet. They are pretty hard to get. I would say they are harder to get than a ring like this one. So look out for something with magic find on it and maybe all resist uh, any sort of useful stats. I think you can maybe even get lucky with something with faster cast rate on it and magic find. I'm not really sure on that, but it would be a great find if you could get an amulet that has like 20 to 30 magic find and some stats on them that would be very powerful but it is a hard uh, item to find and then lastly the helm so three socket helms they can be shopped as i talked about just before if you run around maybe uh, well you can try it in hell i do recommend actually doing it on hell difficulty in act one so if you do the same thing with shopping that i just showed before going to cold plains over and over again you can look at Charcy, see the helms he sells, or you can go down to Geed. Just gonna show that he also sells uh, helms. You can see that they all sell helms. Now, it's not gonna be easy to shop a free socket helm. You might have a better chance at finding them in Cow Nightmare or something like that. Um, 
But yeah, you know, three perfect topazes. This is so goodly. 72 better chance of magic find. This is literally the best magic finding item that I can suggest to use. It is so powerful and it's really inexpensive if you manage to get the free socket uh, helm. That is not how it's that easy to get, getting a free socket helm, but you should really try to get this. 72 better chance of magic find items. That is so high for a single item. Um, until you can maybe get Shaco, I wouldn't really want to replace this item just because it's that good. But that's pretty much it for the guide. Fun to take a look at these budget items for magic finding. You can really get a lot of magic finding if you just equip a few items and especially the switch. If you can manage to get a switch like Alibaba, this is just so easy. Magic finding really does become manageable even on a budget if you get these sort of switch items. But that's pretty much it for this little magic finding guide here. Hope you enjoyed it and good luck on the drops.